Hello and welcome to the JK Feather Ranch channel. I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately, but uh, life has gotten in the way, as have the holidays, and as you might be able to see over here, I'm also in the process of building a garage. Uh, more on that in a future video, which has also taken a lot of my time. But today I'm back, and in this video, we're going to talk about inflation. Not in the economic sense, as I don't want to deal with the absolute crap storm that will cause in the comments, and I'd prefer to keep the comments open, so I'm going to be talking about tires. And before we can talk about inflation, we also have to talk about deflation. Now, according to Wikipedia, deflation occurs when the inflation rate for a given economy falls below 0%, but that's not what we're talking about today. Now, when you're off-roading, deflating the tires can help smooth out the ride, as well as give you additional traction on sand and other loose surfaces. In order to deflate multiple tires at once, I made this setup consisting of a tire chuck, air hose, T-fitting, another short air hose and tire chuck, and another T-fitting attached to a pressure gauge and ball valve. Attach the same setup from the other side, and open the valve to begin letting air out of all four tires at once. 15 PSI is a good place to stop. Let's put the hoses away real quick, and it's time to hit the trail. That was pretty hardcore, huh? Now that we're ready to hit the pavement again, we have to have a way of blowing the tires back up. So let's bring the hoses back out. Now that we've got everything hooked up, we still need a way to inflate the tires. Now you could use a little 12 volt pump like this in fact, I've used one for over a year now. However, they're extremely slow, and if you push them too hard, you'll burn them out. I've burned out two of them before I decided to look for a better option. And this is what I came up with. The California Air Tools one gallon light and quiet compressor. It is 120 volts, so it has a regular household plug but since I have an inverter set up in the Xterra, running it is not a problem. Here's my inverter tucked up under the steering wheel. It's just a uh, 750 watt Harbor Freight power inverter controlled through a 100 amp relay off the battery, which is powered by this switch. I have a couple of extension cords plugged into it. One goes to an outlet in the center console and the other in the back in the cargo area. This used to be used to power a 120 volt mini fridge, however since we got the 12 volt unit it now makes a perfect place to plug in the compressor. With the inverter turned on and the hoses connected, we'll start the timer, open the valve, and turn on the compressor. It's probably a good idea to have the engine running while you do this, but since I did install a deep cycle battery in a previous video, it works just fine even with it off. And the results are in. As you can see, it took the little compressor just over 11 minutes to inflate all four 32 inch tires from 15 PSI up to 40 PSI. Honestly, that's not much longer than it takes a little 12 volt unit to inflate a single tire, especially when you consider that those things have to stop and cool down every 10 to 15 minutes. Otherwise, you're gonna burn them out like I've done with two of them in the past. 
When not in use, the compressor is plenty small to fit in the back of an SUV or truck, and the hoses all fit in this bag here, so you're ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and leave a comment below, and please subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching.